a push to get more people interested in law enforcement. Today, MSP and Western Michigan University announcing a new partnership that will give students more than just experience. Fox 17's Matt Whitko speaking with one student about her time with the program, Matt. Yeah, Max WMU started working with MSP a few years ago. The joint effort led to many unsolved cases getting closure. Now MSP is giving the Broncos a way to step from the classroom right into the office. A great day to be a Bronco. We are honored and I'm, I'm honored to be in a program like this and to be, I guess, one of the first few organizations like this. It's really an honor and a privilege to, to be doing this work. WMU junior Jacqueline Chivaria picked up her love for solving crimes after listening to some podcasts. It's probably been the most exciting and, age, and educational six or seven months. I definitely feel like this is a highlight of my life. And Chivaria is among 15 classmates at WMU's cold case program. In one year, they solved two cold cases. One was the 1987 murder investigation of Roxanne Wood, which led to the arrest and sentencing of Patrick Gilham. Talk about a real world um, experience. Um, the students, I think, become um, much more sensitive to the, the um, beauty of working for the public good. That real world experience is starting to get more real. MSP is now going to be paying these students more than $16 an hour for all their hard work. I would hold about two to three jobs, so I think especially for me, this is going to help me a lot to not work so many jobs. And not only that, but also work on cases. So that Jivaria and her classmates plan on staying busy. We're told they're working with detectives on 14 other unsolved homicide and missing person cases. Goal is to give some sort of closure to the victim families. Um, it's really, really important, I think. Uh, they, the tragedy they suffered is just heartbreaking. So any kind of closure that we can help is really the reason that we're organized like this with the Michigan State Police. This partnership not only pays these students, but also makes them state police cadets and student assistants. Once they graduate, they can step right into MSP to keep on working on more unsolved cases. So the cases that Michigan State Police um, ass assigns to the cold case program are massive sometimes, um, 20, 30,000 pages of documents in multiple banker boxes over decades where WMU's cold case program accepts applications twice a year. They say the program often sees a lot of them and are highly selective. You can learn more about this at fox17online.com.